Hello there, it's Janice. Today we have the book, Mr. Brave. Mr. Brave. Mr. Brave is not as strong as Mr. Strong. He's not as tall as Mr. Tall. But that does not stop him being brave, as you will soon see. Now, last Tuesday, Little Miss Fussy invited Mr. Brave to tea, to have afternoon tea together. She shouted down the phone, And don't be late! Well, that sounds very much like Little Miss Fussy, doesn't it? It was a very stormy day, but Mr. Brave knew that Little Miss Fussy's temper was worse. So he set off for Little Miss Fussy's house hurrying along as fast as he could to be sure that he was not late for afternoon tea. Along the way, he heard a cry for help. It was Mr. Messy. He had been blown into the river by the wind. Mr. Brave did not want to be late for Little Miss Bossy's house, but being the brave fellow he was, he jumped in and rescued Mr. Messy. Went right through. He hurried along the lane. Suddenly, he heard someone sobbing loudly, <laughs> crying. Who could it be? It was Little Miss Somersault. She was balancing on a tight rope tied between two tall trees. Oh, Mr. Bray, I'm so lonely, she sobbed. Nobody will come and play on my tight rope. They are all too frightened of heights. You are so brave. Won't you come and join me playing? Mr. Brave looked up at Little Miss Somersault. Then he thought about Little Miss Bossy. But being the brave fellow he was, he took pity on Little Miss Somersault and climbed up onto the tight rope. They chatted away happily for a while until Mr. Brave happened to look down. <gasps> Somersault, look! The rope is going to snap. We are going to fall, and it's such a long way to the bottom. Oh, calamity! Oh, help! He cried out in panic. Be brave, Mr. Brave," said Little Miss Somersault. And without more ado, she carried him safely back down to the ground. Oh, thank you," said Mr. Brave with a sigh of relief. Ooh, I'm not going to fall down, he thought. Little Miss Somersault said goodbye, but Mr. Brave was left on his own, shaking like a leaf. I don't deserve to be called Mr. Brave. I was scared stiff. I was so scared just now, so high up. Thank goodness nobody knows my secret. Even though he's Mr. Brave, sometimes he's also scared. And nobody does know his secret, or do they? Little Miss Trouble just happened to be passing and has seen everything. And what she had seen and heard had given her an idea, a very naughty idea. She grinned a mischievous grin. Hey, come here, everybody. Come and see this, she shouted at the top of her voice. Very quickly, a large crowd gathered. I have an announcement, announced Little Miss Trouble. Did you know that Mr. Brave isn't brave at all? No, it can't be true, said the crowd all together. It is true, said Little Miss Trouble, and I will prove it to you. Mr. Brave, she continued, I dare you to walk across that tightrope. You see, Little Miss Trouble knew that Mr. Brave was afraid. So, she was trying to make fun of him, and that's not very nice of Little Miss Trouble, was it? Mr. Brave looked up at the type rope, and all the crowd looked up at the type rope. And all the crowd looked at Mr. Brave. Mr. Brave suddenly remembered something. <gasps> A very important something. <gasps> Just look at the time, he cried. <gasps> I'm going to be late for tea at Little Miss Bossy's house. And we all know that Little Miss Bossy is very bossy and she had quite a bad temper. <gasps> Mustache, 
he cried, and he ran off as quickly as possible, running to Little Miss Bussy's house. Hooray! Cheered the crowd, and they all clapped and applauded Mr. Brave. Little Miss Trouble looked puzzled. Why? Why are you all cheering for him? He ran away. He's not brave at all. Everyone shouted. Oh yes, he is. He's very brave. Would you dare turn up late for tea at Little Miss Bossy's house? If he was going to be late to Little Miss Bossy's house, well, he's brave because they are all scared of Little Miss Bossy. Little Miss Trouble thought for a moment. Gosh, he is brave after all," she said in awe. I guess a lot of them are afraid of Little Miss Bossy. Now that's the end of today's story. See you soon. Bye.